This is Hannah from MakeHerStuff.com, and today's two-minute bio review is about the classic buckskin paint stallion. This stallion has a great paint job, and he appears to be in a great position, at first. He is loping and would be perfect for raining, or at least that's what I thought. So I made him a western saddle. Then I tried it on him. His mane attaches to his neck so low, and his back is so short that western saddles have to ride on his loin and rump. So, he can only be used for classes like Native American costume, rider buck, other bareback classes, and classes using English saddles. People giving him reviews say that he is too metallic, but I think it makes him look flashier, like a well-groomed halter hearse. They also say the black, white, and gold in his coat clash horribly, but I don't see what that's about. Anyone who has seen a buckskin hearse in real life will not agree. Mine has a very well-blended coat with dark points, and he looks stunning in black and gold. He has very good muscle tone and sturdy stock hearse conformation. His chest, knees, and forearms are wide and muscular. His barrel is deep, which would give him lots of room for his heart and lungs if he were a real hearse. The paint's head is short, and his cheeks are large like a curder hearse's. He would make a perfect stock hearse stallion. Then I measured him and was surprised to find he was only 13.2 hands high. In real life, he'd be a pony. I rated the classic paint stallion two out of five stars for usefulness and four for his paint job. I would have given him five stars for his confirmation if his back had been longer. So, buy this model if you want to add him to your original finish collection, but not as a performance hearse. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more 2-Minute Bio Reviews.